Okay, this is to go along with the digital syllabus video. Um, one of the things I added into my digital syllabus was a Google form for parents to sign off that they had seen the syllabus and then also answer some questions for me, like a parent questionnaire. Um, so I'm just going to go through with the Google Forms part of that. So I'm going to do a new Google form. And I'm going to call it syllabus sign off. And I'm just going to say, please answer each question to verify that you have read and understand the requirements of this course. All right. So um, my first question is going to be, um, I have read, or it's not even a question, really, a statement. And I'm only going to give them a yes option. I'm not going to give them any other options. And I'm going to make it required. Um, so rules and expectations. I have read and understand uh, discipline procedures. Again, I'm only going to give them a yes option. And I'm going to make it required. That way they can't skip anything. So just add whatever um, whatever you feel like you want them to sign off on. And I think I had one about materials. school that day. All right. So that was like my first section, my part one. Um, and then I had a part two. So I'm going to add It's going to be part two, questionnaire. Please answer the following questions to help me get to know your child better. Okay, so then we're going to add some more questions down here. Uh, I think my first question was, what is the student's? name. That'll be short answer. What is the name of the person completing this form and your relationship to the student? And then I ask, you know, for email. To do. You have one. I know most people do nowadays, but I did not mean to put response validation in there. Okay, so email address, what is your phone number? And then I always like to ask, what's your preferred way of being contacted? So they can choose phone call, they can choose text, they can choose email. And then I have a couple more questions just to help me get to know their child a little bit better. Um, but when you're done putting all your questions in, uh, there's a couple of things you can do if you want to mess around with the color. The color is right over here. Um, not only They have a place to change the background color and um, also to change the what's at the top. So 
see what you like. Once you have something that you like, um, you can also also change the font, which I think is kind of cool. That's kind of a newer feature. All right, so once you have that looking the way you want, then you're going to go to send. Depends how, how you want to do this, but the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to get that link, and I'm going to put that link into my um, digital syllabus. Um, if you want to send it via email, you can send it as if you have your uh, parent email address is already kind of, you know, in, in an easy to access location. You could post this on your Remind account. You could post this on Google Classroom, uh, whatever is your main way of contacting parents so that they can can fill that in for you. And then the wonderful thing about forms is that you are able to see responses uh, once those start coming in. You can see individual responses. You can group them. Um, you can also uh, put, put them into a spreadsheet, a Google Sheet, which is really nice as well. All right, so that's how I created my Google form for my parent questionnaire.